Hello everybody! In today's video, I'm going to tell you what to do if your phone can't see a memory card. These days, all phones in almost every other gadget have a special slot for a memory card. One day or another, everyone may face the situation when a phone can't recognize a memory card or it displays a message saying the card is out of order, damaged or not supported, and to say nothing about other possible issues. From today's video, you will learn why such things happen and how they can be fixed in an Android device. So, let's begin. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog, you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. The first thing to check is the contacts of your memory card. There are cases when those contacts get corroded or covered with dust, and it makes the contact too poor for the phone to recognize the card. Start with taking the card out of the slot and then try inserting it back again. If it doesn't help, clean the card contacts. Use a pencil eraser to rub the contacts very carefully. If you can access the contacts in your phone's memory card slot, clean them too. If nothing changes, the cause behind your problem must be more serious. For example, contacts inside the phone are damaged or the memory card is out of order. To exclude one of these, try using another card with this phone. If it's the contacts inside the phone, it will not see any card at all, no matter which one you use. If it's the card to blame, no matter what device you put the card into, uh, the faulty card will never be recognized. Another possible cause is using a memory card which is not supported. For each gadget, uh, there is a limitation for capacity of memory cards it can handle. If you see such an error, your phone might be unable to work with cards of a larger capacity. So, every time that a phone or tablet PC fails to recognize a memory card, check the specifications and make sure that your gadget supports the capacity and type of the memory card you are trying to use with it. One more thing to get in the way could be a bad block. To find out if this assumption is true, insert the card into a card reader. If the card is recognized, go on to repair it. Open this PC and select the memory card. Right-click on it and select Properties. In the window that opens, find the tab Tools and select Checking the disk for errors. When the check is over, take the memory card out of the card reader and put it back into your phone to see if it can be recognized now. If this method doesn't help, the last option is to format the card. If the card reader does recognize it, Save all important files to your computer because, uh, as you may know, formatting will destroy all data. Another widespread situation when your gadget cannot recognize a memory card looks like this. When you insert the card, the phone shows you the message that the SD card doesn't work, is damaged or not support. When you tap on the message, the phone will suggest formatting the card and configuring it as portable media or internal memory. However, if you see a message like that, it doesn't actually mean the card is damaged, especially when you know it worked fine just the day before with your laptop or desktop computer. In such a situation, the actual cause behind the alarming message is either the card having a file system, which is not supported by Android, for example NTFS, or the card without any file system, which can happen after certain operations with a memory card on a computer. Well, uh, there are a few methods to solve the problem. Method 1. If there is any important data on the memory card, transfer it to the computer using the card reader. And then use the computer to format the card into FAT32 or XFAT. Otherwise, Insert the card into the phone and format it as a portable media or internal memory by tapping on the message about unsupported or damaged SD card. Alternatively, you can do it by opening Settings, Storage, SD card, Menu, 
format. Method 2. If you don't have any important data on the card, just tap on the message saying that the SD card doesn't work properly or open Settings, Storage, and in the SD card section, tap on the card marked as damaged, uh, tap to configure, and select how you want to format the memory card. If the phone or tablet PC can't format the memory card, try doing it with your computer. Connect the card to the computer with the help of a card reader, open this PC, right-click on the disk, Format FAT32. Also, the message about card being damaged or unsupported may appear if such card was used as internal memory on another device, or the current device which was then reset to default settings. Finally, uh, the last option is formatting, but it means losing all data, so remember about it. In our channel, there is a good video about restoring data from a memory card, just check the link below. If none of the methods in this video helps you and your Android device still can't see the memory card, try the following. If the card is not displayed in the File Explorer when connected to the computer, but it is shown in Disk Management, find your memory card there, right-click on one of the partitions and choose Delete Volume. Then right-click on it and select New Simple Volume. Then connect the card to an Android device. If you fail to format the card with your phone or computer, try using a specialized utility SD card formatter designed as a desktop tool. It can detect and format a memory card even when it's not displayed in the File Explorer at all. By way of goodbye, here is one more thing to keep in mind. There are fake memory cards, some people tend to buy them dirt cheap from Chinese online stores. And these are advertised to have a certain capacity which is displayed properly on a computer, though the actual capacity is less than expected. The simple trick is based on the card using special firmware. But when you stick such a card into an Android device, it's merely a question of luck. It may or may not work properly. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell button to receive notifications and never miss new videos. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!